One of my biggest complaints when it comes to Grand Peace Online is that there's only one common fruit. I think everyone who's tried to get a dill fruit in this game will know the experience of getting your 10th suke in a row. The reason why only having one common is such a bad idea is that the fruits in this category will be most likely to drop. So, if you only have one fruit in the category, it leads to there being too many of that fruit in the market and its value becomes worthless. Imagine if there were multiple commons. Suke might finally be worth something. Not a lot, but something. In today's video, I'm going to be listing 5 common fruits that I'd like to see added to the game. The first fruit on my list is the Kilo Kilo no Mi. This fruit allows the user to change their weight at will. I'm going to jump right into the abilities I'd like to see this fruit have. Obviously, you'd have to have some sort of slam move. This would be done from the air so that you'd fall down really fast and crash into the ground. This move would definitely be the fruit's block break, but would be pretty easy to dodge since the AoE wouldn't be that big and predicting it would be pretty easy if you know what fruit the enemy had. All common fruits so far have three moves, so I have to think of two more moves for Kilo. One that I think would fit quite well would be a flight type move where the user reduces their weight and floats up. In One Piece, this was done through the use of an umbrella, but we don't really have umbrellas in GPO. So maybe this move would just be a free flight move that only goes straight up. I think a cool third move would be a heavy punch move where the user increases their weight in a fist and throws a pretty standard punch that does more damage and more knockback, similar to a Rokushiki Shigan. The second fruit on my list is the Toge Toge no Mi, also known as the Spike Spike fruit. This fruit looks pretty cool in my opinion and it also allows the user to create spikes from their body. The first move that came to mind was a move that was inspired by some concept art that I saw for a potential ability in World Adventures. Basically, the spike user creates a spike and impales the enemy through the chest, then they slam them down into the ground. This immediately reminded me of Trident, and I think this would be a really interesting ability to see in the game. The next move that I would love to see out of the game would be the Stinger Hedgehog ability shown in One Piece. I'd like to see this ability used to roll around while having spikes to defend yourself. I think this move would definitely be blockable though. The final ability for this fruit I think would be the Sea Urchin Stinger, another move that was shown in One Piece. This involves the user turning their head or hair into a ball of spikes and then charging at an opponent. I think in GPO this would fit quite nicely and be a cool low damage ability. The third fruit that I thought of was the Super Super no Mi, Mr. One's fruit also known as the Dice Dice fruit. This fruit was one of my favourite fruits from One Piece when I watched it, so I had to mention this on the list. The fruit speaks for itself. One ability that is pretty obvious would be the power to transform your character's body parts into blades, similar to what you see being done in the image here. The next move I'd love to see would be a dash move with these finger blades that are shown in this image. I think this would be really useful for closing the distance with the fruit and could be fun for starting combos. Final move I'd like to see would be the block break for this fruit. I think it would be similar to Shishi Shonson from the One Sword style, but would be done using the blade arms from Transformation. This move was called Atomic Spurt in the anime, and it looks kind of like Shishi Shonson, but it's a tiny bit different. And I think this would not be blockable in the same way Shishi Shonson is, but would be a block break move. The fourth fruit that I'd like to talk about would be the Clone Clone Fruit. This fruit was used by Bon Clay in One Piece, and I think it would be really fun to see this fruit in GPO. I imagine this fruit would be used to troll in game by pretending to be someone's friend or by taking on a form of another player and then standing next to them. I know I said that all common fruits have three moves, but I could really only think of one move for this fruit, and that's the transformation move, so I'm going to leave it at that. The last fruit I want to talk about is a blend of a serious fruit and a joke fruit. This is Baby 5's Bouquet Bouquet no Mi, also known as the Arms Arms fruit. It allows the user to turn parts of their body into weapons, similar to Mr. One's fruit, however it is not limited to just, just blades and extends to guns too. I think this fruit would have the usual three moves, but they would all be pretty similar and also pretty simple. The way I see this fruit working in GPO would be that you can transform parts of your body into either a bazooka, a sword or a gun. The bazooka I think would have to be a block break for this fruit to be anything special, and the sword and gun would probably just be normal. That's all the common fruits I want to talk about today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. We're very close to 6,000 subscribers. And also, I always read your comments. So comment down below what common fruits you'd like to see out of the game. That's all for today. See ya.